But yeah, you can terraform a hole and sitting there with a stabilizer temp. Funny. Okay. Oh, we got the bypass chip here. Let's hit this. See, will I be playing anything else tonight? Fallout at some point. But currently lazy. Let's let's get a monolith. I'll just alternate back and forth between the two of those. And it's just straight up a uh It's just straight up a uh a monolith this time around. Okay, that's good. Where the hell's my ship? My hit my ship is over there. We've got a we got a mystery thing this direction. I guess I'll go this way. El Paradiso Diablo. I'm not entirely sure if it's that hellacious. That's a cool ass name. Oh my god, are there there are ankle biters on this like bluff? Why the fuck are there ankle biters on this like shitty little bluff area? I was taking this so we didn't we wouldn't have to deal with them. Well, I guess I can bump down. And then go from here. Okay. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. That's a different thing. Okay, so... That's the mystery location. We'll hit there, and it's kind of on the way back to my ship. Yeah, part of the reason why I don't feel like uh, terraforming a, a, a hole... So I don't have to worry about the temperature... Is because these these storms are super mild, like they're there, they're noticeable, but they're not noticeable enough for me to actually like care about them. Okay, so we'll keep going this direction. I don't know, I don't know what I, I want to call this planet yet. I'll think about it. It's super gorgeous though. I've always I've always been pretty happy like looking at this one. Really should actually make sure I've Well, I don't know if I should figure out where all the critters are. It looks like I've scanned most of them in the immediate area. Oh yeah. We need plutonium. And if we don't need plutonium, we'll need plutonium eventually. All right. Uh let's see. Ooh, hey, more tech. Always useful. Okay, we already know that one. It's always such a pretty, pretty view of that planet. I love the fact that planets are illogically close to each other in this game. That's a good, that's a good point. Uh, thanks for letting me know about the terraforming holes. I was just being kind of glib because it's not super useful right now. But it probably will be in the future. You were correct about that one. Okay, rapid fire theta. Oh, stock transfer. She, there should be a thing to call my ship near the buildings. Doesn't look like it. Sadly, it looks like we've just got a uh, one of the other beacons. Yeah, so this one doesn't call my ship. This just shows me another thing. Um, I guess we could do a transmission. Let's just do, let's just do uh, all three. Yeah, I think I'm more likely to find a, um, curious about a shelter. I'm more likely to find one of those, uh, tele ship call beacons, whatever, elsewhere, but that's okay. Because my ship is literally over there on the left. Oh, hey, look, it's a giant column of iridium. Okay. Woo! I thought I was going to fall to my death there. That would have been bad. Okay. I see what people mean about the... The, uh... The melee glitch, holy crap, that's fast. I 
Okay, where's my ship? Uh, my ship's right over there. Okay. Nope, I did it wrong. Holy crap, that is effective. That is incredibly useful. I wonder if I can use that to go up. Nope. Okay, it looks like it only works on the horizontal. So what you do is you melee and then you, um... You melee and then you jetpack. And then you go real fast. Okay, well, we're back to where we were. I already have my jetpack booster. Okay. Uh, so here's the question. We do. Okay. I don't know why... Oh, there's a plant in my face. Gotcha. Let's install some tech. Let's get the shield boost tau next. Move this over here. What else can I get? So, I need micro density fabric if I want to get that one. And a little bit more chrysonite. That sucks. And we don't really care about the rest. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's craft antimatter. Craft warp cell. Send it back. Oh, inventory's full. Ah, Not much I can do with this thing. I guess karite sheets are pretty easy to make. Okay. Oh. We could have gotten rid of the Atlas Pass, couldn't we? Okay, so we're going to go... Warp React? No. Hyperdrive. There we go. Okay. Let's make another one. I don't know how many of these I can make, but I might as well make as many as I can. Uh, let's see. So we've got suppression. We've got electron vapor. Yeah, I might actually be able to make a bunch of antimatter and warp cells here. I do kind of wish that you could just go straight along. Like, um... Oh, hey, we actually have the, the space now to make a couple of these. Uh, like, I wish I could just click... Uh, make... Make a uh, warp fuel cell or whatever. Okay, so we don't have enough... Zinc. Okay, I guess I'll work on that one. But still, we've got enough, uh, we've got enough fuel cells that we can go at least three jumps, four jumps? Hard to tell. Uh, let's see. Let's see if there's any zinc immediately available. There's a little bit over there. I guess I might as well grab, ooh. There's some zinc, I'm standing next to some zinc. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go grab, grab more zinc. That's useful. If you jet jetpack up walls, it doesn't use fuel. Oh! Well, that's actually incredibly handy. Yeah, so we got three jumps, but I might be able to get like four or five out of it. If I get a little bit more zinc here. And I think I'll buy a whole stock of it the next time. Also, when, when we're at the, the base again. Grab some stuff too. Actually, wasn't there a, um... Well, now I can get away from those little suckers. That's useful. What are my thoughts on this planet? It's awesome. I wish I had been using the movement glitch a little bit sooner. Oh, shit. That was just straight up titanium. Hey! Okay, that's not what I was looking for, but I'll take it. Uh, we have iridium. We get that over here. I really hope they don't get rid of this, this glitch. Okay. Because it's too awesome to get rid of. Okay. There goes my ankles. That's a lot of damage. Okay. Sadly, these, these blueprints aren't super good. Okay. Is it going to be a crystal? Ow. Oh, there it is. More zinc, presumably. Okay. Everybody was super pissed at me for, um... Everybody... Ooh, ooh. I think this is titanium. 
Uh, a lot of people were kind of crabby at me because I was spending all my time d day trading. Now people are like, get off the planet, Wanderbot. And I'm like, mirror. Ow, fuck. Okay, where are you, you s shitty little asshole? There we go. Problem solved. Looks like we got some more critters, but yeah, we got titanium all over the place here. Oh, and weapons out. Might be a multi-tool. Um, ba -doop -ba -doop. I guess we should probably refill both. Uh, apparently I'm out of plutonium. Guess it's all back in the ship. So that's bolt caster, mining beam. Well, luckily carbon's really easy to come by. Ow! Wrong weapon. Very wrong weapon. Okay. So there we go. Yeah, but people have been telling me to leave the planet for a while, and it's just like... I'm just having a good time, man. Just... just chill and let me do my thing. Okay, there we go. Let's see, is this some zinc? No. Just thamium. Okay. We've got another... What's this? Uh... It might be platinum, but there's no way I can get get into it. Uh, where was the... Where's the gear? There's the gear. Oh, did I already have this one? Maybe? I don't know. Wander, what is your favorite food? I don't know. I'm pretty big fan of BLTs. Okay, yeah, because I already knew the blueprint, it didn't go away. That's kind of dumb. Yeah, take Ricochet off before I kill myself. Yeah, it seems like a good idea. I also don't really see the point of Ricochet, period. Okay, where's my ship? There's my ship. There we go. Back to the ship. Looks like some of the plants have kind of regrown around it. Alright, one way or another. Um, Ricochet, where are you? Oh, that's the thing directly next to it. Yeah, let's get rid of that. And what can I buy instead? I could get the wide shot. Something accelerator. Okay, let's let's go to this. So you could get reload reload accelerant, it's not a bad idea. Recoil stabilizer. Let's get the reload accelerant, I think. That's probably not a bad idea. Let's dismantle these. Let's get, let's go with the higher tier. Uh, let's see, rapid fire. And I'd swear there's one more on here. Yeah, recoil stabilizer too. Okay, there we go. So now we've got tier two stuff here. Let's see if you miss and shop low the target, it bounces up and hit the, hits the target. Yeah, more often than not, it just ends up shooting me instead, which I'm not exactly a big fan of. Okay, so I was fueling this sucker. We can fit probably two more in. See if I can make them. Oh, well, there's one antimatter. Do I have? I do have enough for electron vapor. Yeah, so we should actually be able to make a couple of warp cells here. And I think we have. I think we've got enough thamium. We don't have enough thamium. Well, that's fine. Thamium is like the easiest resource to get in the universe. As long as I'm more or less poised to make a bunch more of these. I guess I should probably collect some, uh... No, I got a bunch of carbon. I see. Our limiting factor is plutonium. Well, that's easy to get to. I turn, I look, it's right there. Also, I don't think I checked... Are there, are there any of those, like, locked canisters near this thing? Nah, there isn't. Okay. I was hoping there'd be a locked canister that I could work with, but no dice. Let's see. Do I have a high enough milestone to get the next Atlas reward? I can't imagine that I don't. I've been pretty nuts about all this. Okay, so we needed... Right, we needed more chrysonite, and I think I've burnt through more of that. That's okay. 
What other mods do we have here? Ah, uh, warp. So, we don't have nickel. We do have Chris Knight, but we need more zinc. If I want to buy... Uh, the increased maneuverability. That's not a bad move, actually, if we can get a little bit more zinc before we leave. Or we just go to the, uh... See if we have any zinc easily available. Not in this mess. You know what? I'll go look for zinc in uh, one of the next spots. There we go. Not a fuel and launch thruster. <laughs> oh, wasn't that my original goal here? Probably was. Yeah, so my goal right now is honestly... I'm mostly in kind of exploration, look at things mode. I'm having too good of a time to do anything else. Oh, this is gorgeous. But yeah, I want to upgrade this thing so it has better maneuverability because it is uh, slow as shit in pain. Ah, uh, but we'll see. You can get nickel from large asteroids. Yeah. Or, most likely, I can also buy it from things. I wonder why it turns. I don't know. Okay. So, we're at the Operations Center. Looks like we got a rune nearby. Well, we'll grab the save beacon, then grab the knowledge thing. Oh, right. We've got our... We've got a Gek Charm, Power Canister, and... Suspension fluid. Not that useful. Oh! That's to turn the lights off. I didn't know you could even do that! Okay. So we got that taken care of. Looks like we got a couple of things here. Let's see. What's my favorite thing about this game? Graphic, sounds, features. I mean, okay. I seriously dig the, the visual design work that they put into this game. But, uh, I also really dig the, the person, the, the people that did the sounds. I don't, I've mentioned this several times, but I'm a huge fan of, uh, No Man, not No Man's Sky, 65 Days of Static. And, um, and it's awesome to have a game that was composed and or done by them. Sadly, I only hear their songs every once in a while, which is a bit of a sad, but still. Well, here's the plutonium I was looking for. Ah, oh, crap. Well, there was the plutonium I was looking for. Because of that stupid power canister. Bull crap nonsense. I kind of wish the stuff that you could collect just showed up on the ground or something. At least I can just randomly shoot. And there's still plenty of crystals. Okay, there was still a zinc flower right here. Oh, well, that's carbon. We don't need carbon so much. That's that other thing. Okay. Well, I guess let's go see what's inside the building. We might actually be able to get to any of the other... Um, we might actually be able to get to some of the other rooms in here. Am I ever going to let Shell play again? No. Uh, I don't know. I don't know when I'll let Shell play again. She's really busy. She's got a convention, uh, specifically this weekend, that she's prepping for. And yesterday was our, um, yesterday was kind of her like relaxy day. Well, time to piss everybody off. Oh, well that works. Turns out, throw the grenade solved the problem. Okay, so Gek Operations Center. The security alert is scrambling the screen. It's chaotic jumble of words. There's just enough visible text to point me towards the right workflow and pretend potentially bring the installation back online. Docking. Um, space station or tra planetary trade platform. Let me think. Grenade upgrades. Should have a grenade launcher at some point. Hmm. Can I get through here? Atlas Pass V2. Balls. Okay. 
I'm here in space station. Let's go space station. Oh yeah, that makes total sense because you don't dock with the planetary trade platform. Good point. Okay, and we now have Reactor Sigma. Uh, so... Oh, this is probably the thing I already have in my ship. Come to think of it. Kind of wish I could blow a hole in that door to get into the other side. But it doesn't look like that's happening anytime soon. I don't think I'm getting into these. Which sucks. There's so much to discover and I can only get in the very early part about it. Alright, whatever. Okay, so here's here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back to this. Got warp reactor, cannon damage. I'm gonna get rid of that. We're gonna get a pulse jet sigma upgrade. Oh, they don't sink. Well, that sucks. Okay. So we got phase beam, cannon damage, cannon damage, cannon damage. Okay, so in that case, let's craft. What can I get here? Is it? It's not under health. It's. It would be cannon damage. Sigma. What else can we get along the way here? Not much, because if I want to get cannon damage the theta, we need omega on, which is a pain. So I guess we'll get the cannon damage. Ideally, if we can do. Will this work? Accelerated fire? I guess we'll find out. Okay, I think they're all synced up. Hopefully that'll work. And let's head on to, towards the runes. We've also got some kind of other thing. I'm not sure. Okay, where where are we going? I just pressed that as though it was going to show me where to go. What? Oh, right, there's that. Okay. Well, we're heading for this, I think. Because, yeah, we, we've got the monolith here, and then we've also got... It was a camp. It was a shelter that I wanted to go to. And then, I think as soon as I've got these done, we're going to head on to the next world. This one's cool, and it was fun exploring, but... At the same time... Ugh. At the same time, we've been here for long enough that I would say it's... It's time to new uh, find a new planet. I really wish there was more you could do on a planet, but after a while it's just like move from thing to thing to thing to thing to thing. I love the fact that my ship will actually automatically go over, um, uh, like, you know, otherwise I'd have to manually run it, uh, move things around, or my ship would crash into stuff, both of which would be kind of frustrating. Okay. Oh, uh, that automatic deceleration. Enjoy the sunset. I'll do it after the mono monolith. Sun's sun doesn't set that fast. Also, it might be better to do it from outside the... Oops. as the bull caster. Might be better to do it from outside my ship. I'm not gonna... I, I'm gonna say my ship is not exactly what I... Uh, I don't know. I really wish... I wish I could pull up like a... Um, a like, you know... A pure viewfinder so I don't have any interface in my way. It, it's already super minimal, which I seriously appreciate, but at the same time, you know. Okay. So what else do I got here? Not too much. Just the monolith. Well, don't... Oh, my inventory's full, of course. Uh, my ship's not, though. Got a couple of things I can drop off. Uh, let's see, can I... Can't make a warp cell because we don't have the thing, but my inventory is not full anymore, so it doesn't matter! I see a strange vision. A small winged creature lands on the very top of the monolith. Suddenly its eyes glow red, and its head revolves in a full circle. It screams for mercy in an ancient voice that wants itself dead. The poor animal has clearly broken its neck, but the monolith's power of possession still animates it. I wonder if the right thing would be to shoot it? and put it out of his misery. 
shoot the creature. The poor winged creature is no more. The monolith rewards my actions. Use sociopath. Okay, standing with the Gek has increased. I think I learned a lang some language. Not entirely sure. At oh, I've learned the Atlas word for beyond. And I also got a Gek Relic. Good stuff. Okay, where's my ship? Hiding around the corner. Well, one more thing left to do on this planet, and then we leave. And that's okay. Because I'm having a damn good time. Oh. Is that uranium? Because that looks like uranium. Balls. It's either uranium or it's gold. We're also currently covered in the horror monsters. Okay. This sucks. What the f On my ship? How did it hit me? I think I got one of them. Fuck. This is not okay. Okay. Let's kill him fast. I feel like it's giving me like slow mo for a reason. I think I got it. Oh my god. This is a problem. Houston, we have this sucks. I don't care what's in that rock. Not enough fuel and launch thrusters. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We have plutonium. Fuck that. Fuck that business. With several rusty spoons, I want nothing to do with that. Wow, those things are nasty. They're ankle bitery critters, and since I don't since this game has kind of crappy auto aim, enemies are fast, and you know I'm using a control stick with bad sensitivity. Um I want nothing to do with it. I need the glowy rock. No, fuck the glowy rock. It's not worth it. I'll find it elsewhere. I'll buy it or something. We'll go looking on a planet that's not full of ankle biters. I really wish there were multiple weapons in this game, though. More than just, like, my basic bolt thrower. Like, I'd kill for a flamethrower right now. Can I shoot it with photon cannons? Nope. Oh, wow. That's about as perfect of a landing as I have ever done. That was nuts. Okay. Uh, let's see what we got around here. One or two of those locked cannons. These cargo drops are nice because they usually have Gragras in them. Or some kind of trade good. Some rare-ish trade good. Which is always nice. But yeah. I think this, I think this game is actually locked to 30 FPS. It's not super noticeable, but I'm looking forward to having, uh, I said 30, right? Yeah, I'm looking forward to having 60 plus. 60 FPS is going to be a nice feeling. Uh, let's see, is there a way to turn it into a steady beam like the mining laser? Sort of. Range boost tau for scanning. I really wish, uh, there were separate sections for all of these things. We also need to get some more jetpack enhancements. We might have some angry critters, but we need to... Ow. But we need to grab damaged machinery. Oh, we already know this one. Oh, that sucks. And it can go well under 30. Oh, absolutely. Okay, so where's my ship? My ship's over here. See if I can fire myself off this cliff. 
It works. Oh, hey, there was another one of these things right here. Well, that's okay. So we already know about phase beams. That's kind of an annoyance here. I keep getting uh, recipes for things that I already know, and it's like, ah, just give me some like suit upgrades that are really cool, and I can't. Uh, or whatever. I have not been in one of these for a while. Let's see. Impact damage theta. Ooh, good stuff. We're not going to be able to afford it. It also kind of doesn't matter after a certain point, but still. Okay, long ago, an automated distress call. So, 1, 2, 6, 24. Oh, we already did this one. It's, 100, uh, it's 720. Hmm. This is just going to give me another location. Also, there's another one of those glowy rocks. Head straight... Ooh, ooh, crash ship. Head straight for the crash ship and we get a glowy rock. Cross our fingers that there's not... Uh... Anything hellacious on that side. You know, I'm gonna take my ship this time. Even if it's a little inefficient, we can grab more plutonium. Largely whenever I want. But yeah, I guess we'll find out if a crash ship is actually... Is actually good. That's a pretty planet. But yeah, I believe there's that freaky green rock. Honestly, though, my bet is green rock is totally just gold. And we're going to be hella disappointed in like two seconds. There's totally landing, clear landing spots. Balls. Well, I don't even know. Oh, it's up above. Okay. We should probably grab some more plutonium while we're here. Have I tried landing on a moon yet? Not really. Not. I, I think I saw one or two and then I like was kind of going to do it. And then I was like, meh, it's probably not going to have anything cool on it. In reality, I should probably land on a goddamn moon. Oh. It's a drone. Okay, gotcha. Let's see. So there's the crazy golden pillar. Oh, ow! I was wondering what the hell that thing was. It's another one of these stupid... There it goes. I swear I found, like, everything on this planet by this point. Haven't seen a red dot in ages. But there's probably something on, like, the opposite hemisphere. I really wish this place had... Okay, there it is. Oh! It's Emerald! I don't remember if Emerald is rare. We've had tons of it in the past. Like, I found, um... I found emerald, uh... Deposits and crystals and stuff. So it might not be a bad idea. Entire pill pillar will give me around 300k. Really? Emerald is worth that much? Oh. Yeah, it is. Well, time to get rid of the suspension fluid and put away, put away the rest of this stuff. Okay. So one emerald is 300 units. Good to know. So what I'm probably going to do is... It broke. Okay, there we go. No, it is still broken. What? Okay, there we go. I was wondering about that for a second. We'll have to... I might hold on to the emerald until we find a, somebody that specifically has, like, a... Uh... Oh, shoot. I don't know exactly what I want to do. Uh, find somebody that will pay double for all this emerald. Because this is huge. You guys are correct. 
Yeah, I'd never actually looked, but you're totally correct. Emerald... Oh, wow, this goes really far down, too. Okay, well, I guess this is one way to do it. I can see the allure of str My god, it goes all the way down. I'm also inside of it. I don't know what's going on anymore. My life is Emerald, I guess. But, do you need to... Do you need to, uh, use this for anything? I guess there's probably not a full wiki on this yet. There's probably some useful information, but still. This is... fucking nuts. We're getting a fair bit, too. Let's see if I can, um, speed this along. I probably don't. I mean, we could do... No, that's combat amplifier. That's not going to do me any good. It's tempting to use a grenade. Build a house out of it. <laughs> funny. Unlikely, but funny. Okay. I'm just going to burn through all of this. This is super... It It's still going down, by the way. Like, I thought, I thought, I thought it would just go down to ground level. No, this is... We have a vein tower thing. It's nonsense. And I, it's all mine. I guess. I, I think this is part of the reason why this game needs to be multiplayer. It'd be so great to be like... You know, to drop a beacon and have Bird and Keith come running from wherever the hell they are. And, you know, everybody's just like... You know, mining war competition type, type deal. Everybody just splits this thing to, um... Call them Emerald Spires. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. So that means this planet, uh, that, like, glowy pile thing we had earlier was an Emerald, uh, Spire. Realistically, I'm not gonna go back for it. Like, I'd like to go back for it, but... Use a small amount of carbon, small amount of carbon, small amount of that. Plutonium, and back to mining. It's the center of the moon again from Starbound. Kind of, except for the center of the moon didn't matter so much. Because there wasn't anything awesome there. It does feel like parts of the... Oh. No, I can't I can't be full. On Emerald. I have lots, though. But yeah, it does look like parts of this aren't destructible, which is a little bit concerning. But then again, so much of it is destructible, I guess it doesn't matter. Seizure warning? It's totally... a Seizure warning. Yeah, Gulm found a whole planet full of the spires. The problem is I get really sick of mining this stuff really fast. Like, the day trading was kind of fun because it was dynamic. This is just like, how low can you go? And the answer is possibly infinitely low. We should probably come back up. I'd at the very least to take, like to take out the, the top section first. So we have nothing else to work with. There is a lot of things here. This is really fun and really relaxing, though. And yeah, honestly, like, I'd rather be day, day trading than making my money doing this. But it was really effective. So I even mentioned terraforming. Okay, that center thing ain't blowing up. Is it just blowing up now? No. There's like a really dense section of emerald in the center that I can't seem to destroy. I guess let's mine around it, grab all of the emerald we can, and then blow the rest of rest of it up with grenades. I'm looking forward to uh, having a multi-tool with enough slots so that I can uh, have like a crazy grenade launcher on it. Because that's going to be f some fun stuff too. Look at all this. If I were to build a base, this might almost be a good planet for it. Except for the shitty ankle biters that I don't like. At least they're not coming for me. I'm kind of surprised that we haven't gotten hit by, um... I'm, I'm surprised we haven't gotten hit by, uh... Uh, by ankle biters while going at this spire. But I guess we're okay. Mine the stuff on top, I'm betting the indestructible. 
Maybe? I don't know. We'll see. I'll just go for it. No, there's definitely indes indestructible sections. That aren't breaking. Either that or they're... Yeah, this center column isn't breakable. For whatever reason. It's okay, though. I got a lot of other stuff to do. That drone is probably going to be pissed at me. I have no idea. And I was gonna I was gonna leave after after that last one and then we just ran into this. Oh, but we do have the crash ship that we wanted to take a look at. Which somehow might be better than Big Blue. That's one thing about this game. Cause um I've never actually found a downgrade. Uh randomly. I think it's always Always adjusting to give you upgrades, no matter what. Let's see, try from the top down. It could. I mean, worst comes to worst, I just fire grenades at it. I'm gonna try and take off all of the, uh, breakable sections, though. I'm not entirely sure. Um... I'm not entirely sure how it calculates the lack of breakability. But yeah, like, right here, I, I'm not even mining against it, as far as I can tell. I think this is more emerald than I will ever see again. But yeah, imagine if I can find, um... Imagine if I can find a, uh, a person that buys all this stuff for double. We are... We are going to be rich as balls. Though I still stand by my day trading strategy. As genu generally better than this. Wonder you get a fighter with 30 slots. Like, as part of plot stuff? Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping I find a better ship. I like Big Blue, but... I mean, I'll take anything. Nope, too far away. Maybe? I don't know, can't tell. I mean, we're slowly whittling, whittling, uh, whittling it away. So maybe the indestructible parts just needs to be hit from the other side, and maybe not, I don't know. We're taking it out, slowly but surely. This poor mining beam, we've already been through like a charge and a half on it. Which is kind of incredible. I don't think I've ever mined anything to that extent. Okay, there we go. Cover of my my mind from Pocahontas while I'm doing this. I mean, I totally feel like um, one of those those like colonists that just shows up to a, to a planet or a new country and it's like, or not colonists but like a, a venture capitalist looking at a place and it's like, look at all of these resources I can exploit. Mine, mine, yeah, <laughs> you know that kind of business. Like that's totally how I feel right now. Even though realistically, I felt that. Even more about the day trading thing because that was that wasn't even that didn't even require effort. That was just like bang, cash, cash money, all of it. I wonder if I could make this platform float. Like I don't know where the indestructibility comes from, or not. <sighs> totally not. <laughs> yeah, it totally feels like the new Avatar movie. You know, that's actually one thing I'm really disappointed about this game. There's no like giant trees or anything like that. Like, it would be so f holy fuck, how far down does this go? I maxed out my inventory on Emerald. Okay. Let's just get rid of the Atlas Pass. We don't need it. Uh... I maxed out an inventory on this. I better mine this entire thing. I might not be able to. We might have to go get more plutonium before I can. My fucking god. What the hell? How deep does this go? Also, that is that is something we need to do. I'm digging a hole through a planet. I don't know what I'm going to do it, but I'm going to try and dig a hole through a planet. Ideally, when I have, like, co-op partners or something. Wouldn't it be more efficient to move over the Emerald? Oh, yeah, you're right.
Because, yeah, the ship holds double. I forgot about that. Honestly, I'm probably going to get rid of the zinc. It's not helpful. Yeah, each of these stacks is worth a fair amount. Gold's actually worth a fair amount, too. So next time we get that. Keep the iridium. Probably... Let's get rid of the iridium. We don't need that. Carbon, plutonium. Let's get rid of the iron. I don't need all of this stuff. I'll need the chrysonite, though. Okay, back to destroying this nonsense. I kind of want to just figure out how low... How, like, far down we can go first. It looks like the center column is, like, super dense for some reason. Which doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but still. Yeah, gold is slightly valuable. I think, actually, gold is more valuable than emerald. Let me double-check that. Uh, full stack of gold is 52,000. Full stack of emerald is never freaking... Wait, no, 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 275 each versus 220 each. So, yeah, emerald, emerald is more... More... Okay, somebody once told me going up... A thing... Okay, that didn't work. Ow, fuck. That was a bad time to run out of that. Okay. I really want to take out this top part if I can. The le like the less we have on the top, the easier it will be to kind of figure out what the hell's going on. But it really does feel like a lot of this is indestructible. Okay, time to start lobbing grenades at it. I th wow. Yeah, the center of this pillar is not breakable. Huh, weird. Okay, I guess I'll just chip off around the sides. Because that seems like the only way I can possibly do this. I might actually have to blast my way out of here. I should probably go get some plutonium before I, I go down. Otherwise, we're going to be in for kind of a shitty time trying to get out. Okay, yeah. Let's get some plutonium, because... My mining beam's out, and I only have a little bit of plutonium back. Or, plutonium left. To be honest, I have more emerald than I could possibly need. I mean, it's true, but it, it's not like the, the the miners in California hit gold and were like, Eh, not bad. And then didn't do anything with it. No. They were like, fuck yeah, all the time. Okay, so we've got a rune there, and I'll see if I can get some... Platinum in the center. Terraform ramp in there. Yep. But one way or another, we're going to need more... More shit if I'm going to be able to do that. Okay, we learned the... Get word for language. Okay, that looks like a bunch. Sadly, we got one of these shitty little buggers. Just right here. Now we don't. Okay, where's all that? There's all that plutonium. But no. Guys, I've already tested. You can't use... You can't use, uh... Mining beams on the ship on a planet. I've already tried it on several things. It's a no-go situation, which is super sad. Because I would totally have, like, a... I really wish you could actually, like, buy vehicles or, like, manual drill things, like, a big setup. Okay. Yeah, go to the crash ship. It might be better than Big Blue. Well, I mean, that's fine, but there's no way I'm getting back to this deposit. Like, I'm not- I'm literally not gonna be able to find it. Okay. I'm just trying to slowly get around here. How much plutonium did we manage to pick up there? Full stack. Several full stacks, actually. Useful stuff. Okay. 